Today, we are taking a look at the future of Fortnite. Hidden in front of us this entire time are so many hints, secrets, and teasers as to what Fortnite will be bringing next. Including that is a load of additional map changes and things coming soon that are available to explore right now if you know where to look for them. The Fortnite map has actually been invaded by a secret spaceship and a very secret character. We're going to be hunting them down, revealing the secret character, and taking a look at what all of this secret stuff means. The next Fortnite season could be taking a far far away and we are going to be discovering everything right here in this video if you're watching this video right now and you're excited to find out what's next in the world of fortnite hit that thumbs up button in the next five seconds we're going to be discovering everything right here on the channel and hit that subscribe button whilst you're there always you'll be missing out on all the latest news and information just like this and a huge shout out as always to everyone using code alia you're amazing now whilst everyone's focusing on the fortnite cars update and everything around that there's been tons of secrets added to the map right in front of us the great thing about all of these hints that we're going to be looking at is that we can jump in game and physically look at them you just need to know where to go to the first one although may be kind of obvious and you may have visited at least part of it includes lots of several hints dotted around the map trust me you're gonna want to see this one probably my favorite new addition to the fortnite map added in mid-season and not even marked on the map is of course the blobs themselves this place has been evolving now several times throughout the season it started off with little wooden huts and was referred to as the wooden age and now they seem to have evolved and are focusing on the Stone Age, revolving specifically around the Egyptians themselves. Not only are these guys having a great time, but if you head on over here, this little building can actually be interacted with. But that's not all. There's several other new locations by the Blobs themselves scattered around the map, which we're going to share with you. As long as you're uncontested with the lions around here, have enough wood and brick for you to be able to do these challenges. So we're going to go ahead. Hello, little guys. Take my stone and a pyramid will be created. Fun fact, the Egyptian time period and the pyramid specifically is something that has been fantasized and made concepts of for Fortnite for ages now. This could be a direct mini hint as to a theme that we'll be seeing at some point on the Fortnite map in the near future. There's two more locations for these guys to check out though. The next one is easy to find. Simply look for the giant whirlpool, which is soon to be Atlantis at some point. Go across to the right and a little tip of the island here, you can find another location. Now it's honestly not too obvious what's inside this one just go ahead and actually give it a little bit of a hit and boom it turns into a beautiful sphinx again egyptian themed enter in the whirlpool and head over to the original location of the blobs just over here and at the back side just over here we can see uh, another one of these locations let's go ahead and give it a hit this is two of the three of the beautiful sculpt location but then we're gonna head over to the lighthouse the storm has got the better of me here but it's okay we don't care about that and just behind the lighthouse is the third and final one look at that huge amount of xp what does this all mean the whole pyramid and egyptian theme i really hope is something that they're mini teasing and the idea that the blobs themselves are going through the different ages of the world world itself the wooden stone potentially metal or iron age next could be the evolution of the blobs themselves potentially we'll be getting a blob themed skin at some point in the future keep an eye on these guys they're giving us lots of hints so far and they're up to something big but not as big as what we're about to take a look at next it's going to blow your mind now one of the best places to get hints for the future of fortnite is always the battle pass hidden within these beautiful items is always something that stands out and may not always stand out but is a essentially a big hint as to what's coming next. Within this season's battle pass, you've got the obvious things. You've got ocean. You've got all of the different skins that represent the different bosses that are within the Fortnite world for this season, and they're awesome. However, hidden within, there's a far bigger secret. There's one thing that doesn't quite make sense. Introducing this lady right here. Her and her spaced theme outfit doesn't really align with everything else, but the whole idea of space is dotted throughout the battle pass with the moon back bling my personal favorite the comet crasher oh my gosh i think i've only just noticed this. i don't think anyone else has noticed this this right here is absolutely huge this is obviously her right here in the middle but what i'm more interested in is this thing down here if we zoom out we can see it a little bit more clearly what if i told you that that is actually a spaceship and it's on the map right now the space team has been on the map technically since the beginning all of the marauders seem to be landing on the map in some sort of a futuristic looking pod acting in a very similar way to the comets or the meteors that we found all the way back at chapter one season three it's almost as if history is repeating itself potentially just a coincidence but the galaxy cup happening at the same time too it's all 
linked in with the start, space, future, and it could be all linked into one giant hint as to what's happening next. Now, by far, the biggest thing that's happened in the world of Fortnite during this season is right here on the northern part of the map. Surprise, surprise, it's underwater, which is why you probably haven't found it for yourself yet, but everyone can find it. You just gotta know where to go. Taking a look at the map, you're gonna want to go north, just about sort of here. I'll, I'll direct you in. You're not actually gonna be able to experience this part in game uh, quite yet uh, because it's underwater but i'll show you how you can so just drop your character sort of around about here oh my gosh there we go we did actually see it for a second let me line the camera up ladies and gentlemen that right there if i jump and we do a freeze frame do you recognize it it is indeed the spaceship from the loading screen in the battle pass thanks to the power of replay mode we can get a far better closer look at this thing if you're thinking how on earth has i missed this how has nobody been talking about it more don't worry it's literally added this week currently underwater we're not meant to access it yet but there's loads of leaked files regarding this thing including a set of chat challenges as well it's gonna be a big part for the rest of this season thanks to fort tory on twitter we can get a list of what the challenges will entail for this thing and it starts with found ancient ship which is this thing right here collect missing part which i can actually show you already install missing part begin launch sequence and then stop ship launch why would you start the launch and stop it? That part doesn't quite make sense. The good thing is about the missing part is that it's not very far at all. And at least one of them have been found already. If we head out of the water just where we are and literally look at the rock right next to it, we can see over here that there's a little bit of an explosion and part of the ship can actually be found already lodged in the side of the wall. So collect this bit and then I assume bring it straight back to the ship, which shouldn't take you too long. Of course, this will all be accessible with one or two water level changes times on the map and you'll be able to continue the rest of the unlocks. Thanks again to Fort Tory on Twitter. We've got audio files linking to this ship, including the battery, thrusters, engine stages, one, two, three, and a final stage and even the launching of this ship. I'll play a load of them in the background so you can hear what they're like. Uh, it's nothing too special but everything is ready to go for this thing to do something huge in the world of Fortnite and this thing's holding quite a few additional more secrets. Taking a closer look inside the ship, first of all the ship fully resembles the helmet of the Battle Parts character skin but it seems we know how she got here now. As there is a spare seat within this spaceship and she's also joined here by a... Uh, I don't know why his head's a little bit messed up. That's a glitch. His helm is meant to be the exact same as hers. The colors are the exact same as hers, except this poor guy, aside from the fact, by the way, that the reflection of his helmet looks more similar to the previous seasons that we've had. I think that's just a texture glitch. If we head on inside his helmet, we've done this a few times before to reveal different character skins' faces. We can see his actual head is literally fully designed and fully coded in there. Potentially a skin unlock, maybe another secret skin for this season, but this seems to be a full-on backstory for one of the Battle Pass characters that everybody's overlooked. She seems to be here, not on purpose, because she's crashed onto the map. And it's all up to us to send her back. A big question I'm sure a lot of you guys will be asking, I know I asked it almost straight away, is why have we got another space theme? When we've had literally an entire Battle Pass based on the space theme a whole chapter ago. Well, um, there's no reason for Fortnite not to revisit another theme again if they feel like they can do it even bigger and better. But let's not forget that one of the biggest parts to the Fortnite storyline, the seven, are all related to futuristic space. All of them wearing basically spacesuits, masks, we don't know their face, and the seven are the biggest mystery of the Fortnite storyline. We of course know three of them, the Visitor, the OG skin that also happened to crash land on the map, but in a meteor last time. The Scientist, the bigger, beefier version of a Visitor. And the Paradigm, hopefully I said that right, the female version. We've got four more of these seven characters to be unveiled and all of them linking in massively the storyline. These guys, the seven of them, actually directed the giant meteor at the end of Chapter X into the Fortnite map to cause a huge explosion and eventually led us to this brand new map. 
think it's safe to say that the seven are somewhat related to a space futuristic theme. To tie it back and to find out more about these characters, space is gonna have to be revisited at some point and it looks like it's all starting off right here. Now, if this spaceship has accidentally landed on the Fortnite map, who else came along with it? The Marauders. Potentially the Marauders are landing on the map to try and chase down both of these characters to try and bring them back from wherever they've escaped from. When we eventually do set off this spaceship and if it's a successful relaunch, they're gonna be going somewhere and we could be going with them or they could be bringing people back with them to cause even more events and even more space themes happening right here on the Fortnite map. If we break down the numbers here, this weekend is Fortnite's third birthday. That means in three years, we've had three of the visitor skins revealed. That means we could be waiting up to another four years to have all of the skins revealed. I hope it's not gonna take that long, but there's a chance that wherever this spaceship ends up could be the location of a fourth visitor skin, hopefully bringing another one of them into the world of Fortnite, getting us that much closer to knowing who all seven of them are. Here on the channel, we love talking about the story and I love putting together hyper accurate theories. I do have a theory on the seven and who they are and what they're doing, but it is quite a wild guess. If you want me to talk about it a little bit more, leave a comment down below, give this video some support and I'll do it. Just to give you a little bit of a hint, it's all to do with the identity and who the seven actually are and why they won't reveal their faces at the moment. If they did, it could ruin absolutely everything. Let's not forget the last time we visited this space within Fortnite was a long time ago. A lot of you guys may not have even played or got the battle pass back then, so a chance to revisit it is definitely some cool news. What do you guys think? Everything we just looked at is only the beginning. The blobs are going to keep on evolving. More stuff's going to happen with this spaceship, and once it all goes down, it'll be right here on the channel first. You want to see more videos? Check them out on screen now. Click one of them before I disappear. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching, and I'll be reading the comments to see what you guys think.